and I'm here to record a tutorial about hub storage, or HS as I will be abbreviating it to. Hey Vo, yeah, you can see where you can incorporate it into. Point out any mistakes as I go through this if you can. And this was an interesting glitch found by me, researched by myself, Krell, and an extra shout out to Tara for creating the explanation for why this happens. And so now, I'm just going to show you what it looks like quickly, and I'm going to show it in the easiest location you can do it in, fly. Just kind of come here. And there we go. So if you have played Antichamber before, or are not familiar with it, a lot just happened there. So I'm going to break it down. So what I do in Fly is I pick up cubes normally, you know, no extra big deal or anything. And well, the thing that's neat is when you hit Q, you exit and you can't keep your cubes. This is a way around to that. You want to pick up your cubes. And this is possible to do without the lag glitch, as I like to call it, unbuffered. But it's ri it is ridiculously hard, and you can only get up to like two or three. I've gotten, I think, four once. It's very hard to do unbuffered. So we are going to do the buffered version. So you're all going to see it happen quickly. What I'm going to do is do the lag glitch, which is bound to the side of my mouse. Sorry, you can't see it in no board. But I'm going to do the lag glitch, scroll twice, hit Q, and since I'm using F11 lag, I'll hit it once more to restore it back to full screen. That is a lot to take in. So here's what it looks like again. And I guess I did that one slightly differently, because I only had three. Sorry, that was bad. I lagged twice when I'm adjusted to the time of just one lag. It is possible to do if you use F11 lag twice, or just do normal lag. It is possible. I'm just used to this timing by now. And so there you go. Now, this obviously has a lot of potential. And... You can do it in a lot of places too. For example, I can do it here. And come here. Or not. And I failed it. Oh joy. But the most common places you are going to do it, at least as it looks currently, or if you're just playing for fun, is probably here, which is the learning to draw, where you acquire the green gun and fly, which I just showed it at. Most likely, you are going to have the red gun, which I have here. You can do it with any other gun, except... No, you can probably even do it with blue as well. We haven't tested, but it should, in theory, work, because it's the basic principle. But, so keeping cubes allows us to do some interesting things, such as get into the end without having to walk all the way to fly and jump off, come back down here, pick this up, which saves about seven and a half seconds in any percentage. Am I correct on that, Vo? I'm pretty sure. So, I'm going to explain the technicals later, and more just show me doing it a couple of times and places where it's easy to do it. Easiest place is fly. But stick around till the end if you want to learn the technicals. So, in fly, easiest place to do it. Don't get discouraged with this glitch, it is really hard. The timing's very precise, especially if you're doing it unbuffered. But what you want to do is just lag one scroll or two scrolls depending on your preference and then hit q really quickly this all has to be done in a quick succession to get as many cubes as you can the most i've ever gotten is 17 which is quite a bit from what i've heard this is a lot easier with free scroll it is doable without free scroll because i am not using free scroll for this 
and voila. So, it's, once you get the time down, it's simple. It's a very time-heavy glitch, which is going to take some getting used to. There's nothing you can really do to avoid it, really. So, the common places that you're most likely going to do this are fly, which I've shown a few times, learning to draw, especially if you do any percent. You can come here, pick up cubes, remove this, and if you just stand here and do hub storage, HS, you pop here, and I did not get enough cubes, wow, seriously. As you can see, this glitch is still relatively hard. We discovered it two days ago. And, well, we've tried testing, but kind of inconsistent. It's kind of finicky a lot of the time, too, which is why you see me multiple trying this. That's closer. You have to scroll very quickly. Oh, still not it, seriously. I'm sorry to you watching this. This just proves it's hard. Do not get discouraged. Okay, you know what? I'm going to try something else here. Why did I click that again? Whatever. I got enough cubes. It's inconsistent. No, I didn't get enough cubes. Stupid, come on. It is inconsistent. We'll take get some getting used to. But, the potentials it brings to the table are very neat. Seriously, please. Can't do this now, just because I'm on camera. All the time. Please be enough. It is doable here. Just takes some getting used to. Not enough. Please be enough. Nope, I destroyed a cube. Not enough. Or it is enough. There you go. So that's pulling it off. I just choked really hard at it. But that trick there, assuming you do it quickly, saves about seven and a half seconds in any percent which is a pretty decent time save. The other place that you'll likely be doing it, based on, well, just random testing, is going to be in the ground floor running into trouble type areas to skip managing resources in all guns. So, you wouldn't have the red gun at this point, I'm just making cubes just to show. So, in all guns, you trigger this, yeah, I know, but at the back of the room, I find it to be less consistent, though. Tra er, Tara and I were testing earlier today, and it's less consistent, in our opinions. But you can also do it there. And that one will be used to skip managing resources, as I'm going to show you right here. There's faster ways through there, but it's just a recording, so... And you'd go to managing and not fail it. Yeah, try it. It's slightly easier, I believe. If I would stop failing this glitch, that is classic me. No, why do I keep doing that? I was getting this consistently a moment ago. Hold on. So these seem to be the most common places you'll be doing this. It's still obscenely hard. Don't be discouraged. There, that one worked. So... Sometimes it'll seem that it's not just working, it's most likely your timing within the lag glitch because that is what is the most picky in this trick. 
but doing this allows us to skip managing resources because you can just pick up the cubes that you need and if you pick up all these cubes this allows you to do another trick here to save some more time in all guns where you would pick up the yellow gun there come here do this sneak through here and well do this again and you come up to here and here you are and so that saves a little bit of time as well because it prevents you having to do an extra Q grab, cube grab and so that's basically all the main things I wanted to showcase as you can see I failed lots of times in this video this trick is still really new still really hard and well do not get discouraged if you're a beginner you may want to avoid this trick because this will probably crush your faith in the game It'll probably crush your faith in the game because of how picky it is. But, you feel comfortable with it, then this trick will save plenty of time. And so now, you can stay around for the technicals, or thanks for watching. I'll see you. Okay. And if you're still sticking around, you probably want to see the technicals. Basically, I'm just going to spam those over there. You'll see, I sometimes get cubes when I spam those. So, yeah, no, when Tara and I tested, even worse trying to get cubes actually though, or pull off HS. Basically, the way this works is that when you shoot, the game sends them all out at once. Sometimes it doesn't quite stack them all properly because of how fast they shoot when you do it with scroll. And so what we're doing is we're essentially taking a lot of cubes, firing them, and then exiting before they have the chance to refund us these cubes. Basically, that'll store it into our gun and allow us to pick it up later or when we exit the hub. And this works because cubes are only deleted when you hit Q. Going into a new map does not delete your cubes. So, you can see that right here. And I hit the wrong button, but whatever. So those are the technicals. That's how to do it. I'm sorry for all the failures. It's hard. And this has been Gamer Dude K. Good luck with this trick.